Welcome to Cadence Design Systems Fidelity Tutorial Tuesday, where we show you how to use a feature or demonstrate a technique in just a few minutes. Today we're going to focus on Fidelity Pointwise, and we're going to look at a feature in the Defaults panel, which is somewhat unknown to a lot of users. I'm already in the Defaults tab here for Pointwise with a model that I've imported from a recent training. I'm going to uncheck the connector frame to minimize that and I'm going to check the unstructured domains and blocks frame. And you can see that I've already got isotropic for domains expanded here. And down at the bottom of this frame, you'll see the checkbox labeled Initialize Interior. This feature, which has been in Fidelity Pointwise for some time, was added originally to allow users to create new unstructured domains or make modifications or changes to those existing unstructured domains or their perimeter connectors without having to sit through the possible delay for the time that is required to initialize those domains or reinitialize them for changes. And you can imagine there are situations for dimensionally large unstructured domains or when you have a large number of those domains in your system that are being updated at once, that there can be a significant delay for that process. So by unchecking this box, you're essentially saying, okay, make my changes or create this new domain, but don't insert points onto the interior. And essentially what it will do is give you a uh, loop defined domain with all the points on the perimeter connected by triangles. Let's see what this looks like now. So I have my mask already set to select only connectors. So you can see here on the leading edge of this geometry in this mesh that I'm kind of missing this domain. And so I want to go ahead and create that domain. I'm selecting the connectors around the perimeter. I do want to select unstructured for the creation type of this domain. And then essentially I can just hit assemble domains on the toolbar. And what you see is, is that, as I mentioned, with this checkbox unchecked, it's basically gone in, connected all of the perimeter points on the connectors to each other without inserting any interior points. And so this can produce a significant time savings if, for instance, I was to create all of these domains uh, in this particular grid at once, or if I'm updating a bunch of the connectors, causing the domains to be initialized. And so, for instance, so I did select another domain. I changed my mask here at the leading edge and just simply initialize that domain on the toolbar. You'll see that it also updates that domain in the same fashion. So this allows you then to create a number of unstructured domains in sequence if you need to and or make changes to a number of domains or their connectors without that wait time for them to be initialized entirely with their interior points. And then once you've made all of your changes, then you can go back and check this box back on and initialize all of those domains simultaneously and have them all updated at once. All right, so let's go ahead and select our two domains that we've initialized without their interior points and just go ahead and click on initialize and we'll see that they will be updated in their appropriate fashion with the settings that they have in their attributes. If you like this video, be sure to click the thumbs up button or subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, drop us a line down below or connect with us via LinkedIn, which is linked in the description. Thank you all and have a pleasant Tuesday.